This week on Sundays with Selly, we have brand new product release from Garmin. It is the Spectra. What is that? Well, stay tuned after the intro and we're going to tell you all about it. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sally. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down there at the bottom at Navtronics on YouTube and Instagram to stay up to date and in the know the latest happenings in the marine industries. Most Sundays at 10 a.m. we've got a new episode of Sundays with Sally. We're dropping a whole slew of videos of another new build project that we have going on out back. So you're going to want to make sure to give us a follow to stay up to date and in the know. All right, guys, so you can tell we're still kind of nomadic. We are actually in our showroom right now, and we are talking about the latest release from Garmin. It's kind of slid under the radar here. This is a Garmin, what are we calling this thing? The Spectra LC302. LC, light controller. They are getting into the light control game. They're not doing lights. These are using standard RGB or CRGBW, meaning we can do cool white, warm white, and RGB control from this module via the NEMA 2000 network. This is agnostic. We don't care whose LED lights you're using as long as they have multiple wires on it So as a standard LED strip light protocol or down light protocol would have. So without further ado, guys, Let's open this box up and let's see what it is we have inside here. So go ahead and we open this up without spilling everything here. We have a very simple light control module, guys. This is, is it. This is very small, very simple. You're going to see on the back side here, we've got a NEMA port, we've got power, and then we have three plugs right here, three Deutsch plugs to control our lights. So we have three zones. You're going to see here in the box, obviously, we get our NEMA cable, and we also get our power cables and a couple of these Deutsch plugs that get plugged in to the unit itself here. So you can go ahead. They're labeled on here right on this wire label right here. It tells us what their color code is. It's pretty straightforward. They even number it. So God forbid you're colorblind and you're trying to hook up wires, it is numbered as well. So you can go ahead, you can slap one of those in there, hook up your uh, strip light, your flex lighting, whatever you've got, you can go ahead and hook that up into there, hook your power up into it, because we're going to feed power to our lighting, and we have to put it on the NEMA network. So now, I'm going to dip behind this real quick. I've already gone ahead and wired up the power, and I've already got a NEMA drop ready to go for it. So we're going to put it in, and we're going to see what that looks like on the Garmin display right here, and what these light control functions look like. So let's go check it out. All right, so now I've gone ahead, I've got that plugged into the NEMA network, I have power. Unfortunately, what I don't have is just standard strip lighting around to show you guys, but I can still show you what the interface is going to look like here. So we go ahead and we go into our home screen, we go over to Vessel, and if we slide all the way over, we're now going to see a new icon right there that says Lighting. So if we click on Lighting, we can see I've already set up one on here, but we can go in here, in this particular case, we have the lights, and if we want to go in and turn them on and off, we can turn on the zone, we can bring our groups together, control our brightness, but if we want to go in here and edit, we go to our color, and we can go here, and now if we go color, we have the full color spectrum here. So we can go ahead and choose any of the colors in the rainbow via this app. There's obviously some preset quick colors right there, so they've got that set up. They also have the warm white to cool white on the scale gradient there as well. So you can go ahead and set that up. And like I said, guys, this can run up to three zones off of this one module. So we can go ahead, we can do that. They also have in here effects. So if we come in here, we go to effects. We're gonna see, if I choose vaporware on the screen right here, what does that look like? What is that color going to do? Those blacks are obviously the pulses as it's dipping in between the colors here. We can choose all these different ones where it's going to pulse and go through. So we're actually seeing a lot of different color opportunities here to go along with this. And very easy to use. 
and just very simple. And this is plugging in to the NEMA network. So we can go ahead in here, like I said, we can set up to three zones. We can create different scenes as well. We're very familiar with that in the LED lighting world. And also we can have it go to the music if you have a Fusion Apollo stereo. That needs to be on the NEMA network as well. So we can dial that in there. We can have things going to the beat. So this is a very good option if you're not looking to do a big, you know, 10 zone lighting and, you know, underwater lights and doing all of those things. This is a really great option, really robust, plugs right in, NEMA 2000, very simple to use, guys. We're going to have a lot more on this. We're going to actually get something wired up in here, I think, before we get over to the Newport Boat Show. So if you guys are coming to the Newport Boat Show, we're going to have all of the different lighting options for you guys to play with and see which one is going to be best for you guys. So we've got that as well. So that's it. If you stayed this long to watch, you might as well hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and in the know. Doesn't cost you a dime, helps us out immensely. Leave a comment down below, tell your friends about us. We love getting the views and we love seeing everybody out there learning more about this and getting their boats dialed in and set up the way they want. So that's it. That's all I've got this week for Sundays with Sally. We've got a whole lot of stuff coming down the pipeline real soon, guys, I promise you. Peace.